Get ready. It's time for a well-deserved break, Pittsburgh, with Heather Abraham and David Highfield from the KDKA TV studios. It's Pittsburgh Today Live. What a treat do we have today. Oh, we certainly do. We're, we're going to explain those wigs in a moment. Oh, yeah. That is for a very good cause. And we love it so yeah, much. Yeah, it, it is really fantastic. But we love this so much. We're going to begin with Taste It Tuesday. Mm. And this week, we're not trying something new. We're tasting the OG. Yeah, a very mm -hmm. big favorite here in honor of National Pizza Month. I can't believe that I'm just finding out about this now. You've never had this before? No, 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 no. That it's National Pizza Month. Oh, yeah. The month is almost over. Yeah. And so, I'm just going to get on it. Now, so our Taste of Tuesday is all about Vincent's Pizza Park, which is along Ardmore Boulevard in Forest Hills, and they are known for the Vinnie Pie. Yes, and this looks amazing. Look at this. Now, if you have never been there, oh. that, that is what the pizza looks like. But when you take this out, when you leave, this is how it comes to you. It is wrapped in this paper on a board, right? And you can take it home just like that. Yeah, that that's distinctive because they don't do the boxes; they do that, so everybody sort of knows that. And you know what? And well. You try some of it. Okay. I'll talk for a little bit. So it's Vincent Canese. Am I saying it right? Vincent Canese. Yes, I said it right. We All have right. friends. Yeah. We All have right. friends of Vincent's here. <laughs> yes, in fact, his granddaughter's here in the studio with us. Oh my god. They gosh. opened in 1952, and they were literally introducing people to Pittsburgh or pizza in Pittsburgh. There's a picture of Vincent. Wow. He went to San Francisco to learn how to make it, and then he opens this place up. And That's you're wonderful. saying, wow, 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 well, wow. Well, it's amazing. You know, there's so much that could go wrong with a pizza, and there's so much that can go right. You mm -hmm. just have to do it right to get it yeah. right, you know? It's, it's the dough. The dough has to be perfect. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. There has to be the right blend of cheese. It's amazing. And then the sauce has to be just right so that it balances all of that out. This is, it's so good. And it is a true Pittsburgh staple. The sausage like and pepperoni, the by the way, proprietary, that they do it. Mm -hmm. It's special for them, and it's fantastic. I, yeah. um... Mm. I feel bad because, honestly, we should not be eating this with a fork. We know better. I don't want you to judge us for this. There is well, something wrong with that, Rob. With that. <laughs> there is something wrong with it. We do don't, not eat don't pizza. Judge me. Don't judge me. I am. Now I'm judging you. I wasn't before, but now I am judging you. If you eat pizza you know with what? a fork, absolutely. See, I eat pizza with a fork when it's first hot. And then once it starts to cool down, then I don't eat it with a fork anymore. Mm -mm. Really? You think you should go no fork from the beginning. I'm, and yet you're using a fork right now. Well, because we're on TV. Oh. Well, go all in. Well, shouldn't you always act like you're on TV? No. When you're, <laughs> you're eating and doing things. You never know who's watching. It's delicious. It's yeah. delicious. But that's, yeah. I just didn't want, like, sauce splashing on my face. Or, mm. No, you don't need pizza with a fork. Oh, this, this feels like a what you think Wednesday question. Yeah, we'll do that some other I time. Just, I feel like that, that's going to have to be it because... I just, you guys, pretentious over here, pizza eaters. I feel like I am just a snob over here with my fork <laughs> eating pizza. It doesn't matter how you eat it, it is delicious. <laughs> and we're so excited to have Vincent's Pizza Park yeah. um, here today because it really is like a, a staple of Pittsburgh. Mm. But you met him, right? Well, you know what? I think I did because mm -hmm. when I was an intern, Aaron Sledge, one of our photographers, they would like when you were an intern, they'd take you to the best places for dinner. Oh yeah. Like, and so we walked in there, and I remember what I I think was probably Vincent making pizza, and he had like a, a cigar or a cigarette as he as he was making it, yeah. which everybody remembers from their childhood. Like yeah. that's what they remember. Yeah. It was so, okay for a long time to do that. Yeah. Remember, uh, I don't remember, but I remember the cigarette, the ashtrays still being on the airplane. Like, they had not removed them yet. Yeah. The first time oh, I yeah. flew. Because exactly. used to be able to smoke everywhere. Yeah. Well, anyway, fantastic pizza. It's still fantastic pizza, and I consider this a successful tasting. I love it. We don't need anything new. <laughs> we love favorites. We love old staples, too.